Hello everyone, my name is Ashni and I'm a technical support engineer at Keysight. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate a custom waveform which consists of a fundamental frequency and its harmonic using Keysight AC6900 pre-phase AC source. It is easy to forget that the AC power from our wall outlets is not pure sine wave. In reality, the AC power supply could have been distorted for various reasons and the distortion creates a complex waveform comprised of some harmonic frequencies that can adversely affect our power lines and electrical equipment. Now, what is harmonics, you may ask? Harmonics are higher frequency waveforms superimposed onto the fundamental frequency. In other words, harmonics in our electrical power distribution system combine with the fundamental frequency of either 50 or 60 Hz to produce voltage waveform distortion. The amount of waveform distortion present, which gives a complex waveform its distinctive shape, is proportional to the frequencies and magnitudes of the most dominant harmonic components. In the following segment of this video, we will demonstrate how to generate a distorted waveform consisting of a fundamental frequency of 50 Hz and its fifth harmonic, the output of which can be used to test electrical equipment. Now, let's dive into the demonstration. We will perform this demonstration in three segments. The first segment is to generate the waveform points. I am using this Excel form to generate the waveform points by keying in the fundamental frequency as 50 Hz and its fifth harmonic to 250 Hz. As you can see, the waveform points of 1 till 4096 will be auto-generated here. The waveforms on the right shows the preview of the individual waveforms. The first waveform shows the fundamental frequency. The second one shows the fifth harmonic, while the third shows the superimposed waveform, which I am going to show on the power analyzer later. Next, save the waveform points in a text file and note the directory. You may have noticed that this is a skippy command. Let's take a point and analyze it. 2 indicates bank number 2, which means we will be loading this waveform points to waveform bank 2 out of 256 waveform banks. 3 indicates the third data out of the 4096 data points. And 180 indicates the amplitude of the data point. The second segment is to set up the AC6900 unit. Here, I have AC6903L unit. First, make sure the output is off and connect the unit to your laptop via LAN. Next, configure the waveform. On the front panel meter view, set the VAC to the desired value, for example, 120 VAC. Next, we need to configure the custom waveform settings. Press Advanced, Output Control, Custom Waveform. Choose the phase that you wish to load the waveform, for example, phase 3. Make sure the output of phase 3 is connected to the power analyzer in order to view the waveform. Earlier, in segment 1, we set the custom waveform on waveform bank 2. Therefore, let's set waveform bank 2 to phase 3. Make sure to press back and yes to confirm the changes. Now, we are at the last segment where we are going to load the waveform points and run on the unit. To accomplish this, I am going to use a Python program. Make sure to save both the Python code file AC6900 Python code and the waveform points file 5th harmonic that we created earlier to the same folder location on your PC. Next, let's run the Python code. Get the IP address from Keysight Connection Expert and press enter. Lastly, turn on the output and view the waveform on the power analyzer. Hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching.